Hello, my name is John Chen, and I would like to give you an introduction on the basics of using herbal extracts today. Um, historically, herb has always been given in decoction form, and what that means is when the doctor sees a patient, he would write an herbal prescription uh, with maybe 10 or 15 ingredients, have it filled at an herbal pharmacy, and then the patient would take it home, cook it every day, and take it for 7, 10 days, or whatever the duration may be. Uh, it may take somewhere between one to two hours to prepare the herbs every day. Um, historically, that's not much of a problem, but today, that generally speaking, uh, is quite time consuming because we all live a very busy lifestyle and it's hard to ask the patient to spend one or two hours just to cook the herbs per day. So what happened is over the last 30 or 40 years, um, a new dosage form has evolved and this new dosage form is called the herbal extract. Uh, what it is, is uh, basically the same as cooking the herbs. You take the raw herbs, you cook it in water, and you extract the active ingredients out of the herbs. And then in the end, you put the extract active ingredients into the granular or powder form that you can take simply by mixing it with warm or hot water. Uh, you can also take this granular form and make it into capsules or tablets, and that's also very convenient. You know, so the idea is you want the same efficacy of the decoction, but the convenience of the powder, capsules, or tablets. Okay. Historically, when the doctor prescribed the herb for the patient, uh, they prescribed it with many different ingredients to make up the formula. So for example, if the patient has qi deficiency, then the doctor may prescribe a formula called si jun zi tang with four herbs to tonify qi. If the patient has blood deficiency, then the doctor may prescribe a formula called Si Wu Tang, has four ingredients to tonify the blood. Okay. Obviously, many times the patient has a condition that's more complicated than that. So in those cases, uh, a formula called Ba Zhen Tang may be necessary to tonify both the qi and blood at the same time. Uh, furthermore, if the patient also has yang deficiency, then what we can do is we can use Ba Zhen Tang as a base formula add in two more ingredients, and then we have a comprehensive formula to tonify qi, blood, and yang at the same time. And the reason I show this to you is to show you that the concept usually starts from a very basic idea, but then you can build upon it to make a more comprehensive or more customized treatment and get better results. Obviously, when you are prescribing herbal extracts, you can do the same thing. So for example, if you decide that the patient has qi and blood deficiency, all you need to do is simply combine formula with formula, and then you end up with your finished product. So in this case, you combine si jun zi tang with si wu tang, and you end up with your finished prescription for the patient. What you can also do is, in addition to formula plus formula, you can have formula plus formula plus single herbs. And this, to, this is to make it even more specific to treat the condition, the individual condition that each person has. Okay, so this is one of the great advantage of using herbal extract in that you can customize it for the patient, but at the same time, it's very convenient to take on a daily basis. Okay, so you may ask, why do we want to use herbal extract? Well, obviously one of the first reason is because it's effective. Okay, it's flexible, you can customize it for the patient, and get much better results. Uh, this is very important because we don't see too many textbook cases where one formula is exactly the right formula for that particular patient. You know, so the idea of customization generally is very, very significant to get better clinical results. Also, uh, herbal formulas in extract form is good because it has been cooked and extracted together, meaning all the herbs has a chance during the cooking process to interact with each other. And this usually will ensure that the herbal extract mirrors in clinical effect as the decoction, as what we, what we read in the textbooks. Another reason why herbal extract is good is because it's very efficient. When you prepare the raw herbs, it generally takes a lot of time. You know, so for example, if you're looking at a raw herb prescription that has seven well, let's say 10 ingredients, and you're prescribing a seven uh, packs, which is one week supply, you basically have to measure each individual ingredient 
seven different times and if you have 10 ingredients you have to measure it 70 different times and that's going to take quite a while to prepare the formula for the patient but if you're using the herbal extract all you need to do is maybe mix two or three bottles and then you have your finished product this generally speaking will not take more than 30 seconds and most one minute to prepare so time wise it's a lot more efficient cost wise it's also a lot more efficient because with raw herbs you really need to have a very large inventory and also a lot of space in your pharmacy to accommodate, accommodate all the raw herbs you need, which for a good pharmacy will probably take about 300 to 400 different herbs. If you are looking at herbal extract, generally speaking, you have 200 that's quite adequate to treat most conditions. So you are looking at much less space, much less inventory, so it's a lot more cost effective to stock herbal extracts versus raw herb pharmacies. Now a few words on dosing. Generally speaking, most practitioners will give the herbal extract to the patient in a 100 gram bottles. And that will generally last somewhere from one to two weeks, depending on the dose you give to the patient. If you give a heavier dose, larger dose, such as 10 to 12 grams per day, then each bottle will last only about one week. But if you give a lower dose, starting dose, which is six grams per day, then it may last up to two weeks. Okay, so if you're starting out at 6 grams a day, that's equivalent to using two yellow spoonfuls three times a day on an empty stomach. Okay, this is a little yellow spoon, not the regular teaspoon and not the tablespoon. Okay, anyways, each yellow teaspoonful is roughly one gram. So if you do two teaspoonfuls three times a day, that will give you a starting dose of 6 grams per day. It's also a good idea to tell the patient to shake the herb before they mix it with water. And the reason is because if you are mixing several ingredients into the finished bottle you give to the patient, some of the herbs may have slightly different weight. So if you mix it, then the whole bottle is homogeneous and they'll get the same effect from the first dose and also the last dose. Okay, so that concludes our quick introduction on the basics of using herbal extracts. Thank you very much.